Good morning from Nova Scotia. I'm here at Herring Cove National Park. I uh, came out this morning, thought I'd do the live stream from the ocean. And it's a beautiful morning and uh, things are fairly calm. But I've been having a great week here in Nova Scotia. I've been preaching at my friend's church. He's had a conference and uh, things have been going very well. Uh, but this week, as uh, my friend Luke, we were driving along and uh, he was mentioning about the hurricane that had come through Nova Scotia not too long ago. And we were looking at all the houses along the coastline and um, all along the coastline here, you, you see houses in the opposite direction from where I'm standing. You see houses and all along as you're driving around. And I thought it was amazing that uh, these houses so close to the ocean uh, stood firm during this hurricane. And uh, Luke even mentioned how some of these houses are built right onto the rock. And I thought, how incredible is that? And if you look behind me, you see some very large, that I'm standing upon, very large uh, bedrock that I'm standing on. And I couldn't help but think about uh, what Jesus spoke about in Matthew, about the wise man and the foolish man and what they built their houses upon. And Matthew seven twenty four to 27, the Bible says, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house. And it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon the house, and it fell, and a great and great was the fall of it. And as you consider Jesus and his ministry and his life leading up to that point, Jesus Christ was a carpenter by trade and prof profession, uh, taught by his father, his earthly father, Joseph, and he knew all about houses, he knew about the trade, and he understood what it meant to build a house. And he understood the importance of finding a proper foundation, how critical that is for the structure of the house to stand firm. And a person must build their life upon a solid foundation. And we know that there's only one solid foundation upon which we can stand, and that is Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 3.11 says, For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. And we see that every person has a house to build and a life to build, one life to build, and that can be found upon Jesus Christ. And it's not just for this life that we build our strong foundation upon, but for eternity that we lay our hope and our faith and trust in the Lord. Uh, Matthew sixteen eighteen, we see it and it says, And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. We need to lay our foundation upon Jesus Christ. You know, in this uh, passage that we read in Matthew 7, we see that both of these men had to build a house. They're building a house. They're building their life. But both had to choose a foundation and we see a great difference in the foundation that was laid. We see one was wise and built upon solid rock, solid foundation, and others built upon the sand that had no stand, no, no structure, no support for life. And both experienced the same thing. Both experienced the rains. They both experienced the floods. They both experienced the winds beating on their house. And we see that one heard and obeyed and they experienced deliverance from the storm. They, they faced deliverance. And the other, we see, did not obey and they experienced a great fall. So I trust today that you are building your life. First of all, that you're trusting the Lord for your eternal salvation, that you built your life upon Him. And that we see that there's no other foundation laid than, than Jesus Christ. And as well as a believer, I hope that you're continuing to build upon that foundation, that you're building a life that is secure in the Lord, secure in the rock that we can 
trust in. So when the storms of life come and troubles come in our life, that we find hope continually in the Lord in our life. Psalm 18 verse 2, the Bible says, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation, and my high tower. So I hope you're trusting in him today and that he is the rock that you're building your life upon. So that is it for this morning. I uh, trust that you'll have a great day at Legacy tomorrow and I look forward to that. Um, I'll be away for one more Sunday. It'll be my final Sunday preaching here in Nova Scotia and I'll be back on Monday, but I do look forward to seeing you all next week. Until then, continue to stand upon the rock and build your life upon the rock. God bless. Take care. And I'll see you from Nova Scotia.